you know, I, I try I sit around and listen and pray and ask God what He have for me to bring forth, or what He. I, I pray and ask God to help me to get out of the way and let Him do what He needs to do because this ain't nothing to me. This ain't my words. This is God's words. So I just, you know, I pray and ask God to just help me to get out of the way and let Him have control. And I'd had faithful on my mind, and it it stuck with me, and you know, a movie come to my mind, and I'd, I'd had it on my mind to watch it, and I looked, and I couldn't find it, and then Kaylee come in there, and she said, well, here it is, and I'm sure everybody's probably seen it, Hacksaw Ridge, and you know, as I watched that movie, you know, that, that boy had a rough life. He had a rough time from the beginning all the way through. But, you know, there was there was one spot that stuck out to me real big. It's, you know, they, they went up on the ridge to fight. And they had tucked her spot for that night and then the next morning they went back into battle but you know everybody else went off the ridge but you know when he got to the point to go over the ridge he didn't go over you know he stopped and he asked God he said God he said he said what is it you, you want me to do and then he said, I can't hear you. But you know, about that time when he said, I can't hear you, somebody hollered in that back, you know, in the, in the back in the field. And he said, all right, God. And he put his helmet on and he took off. And you know, I, I'd begin to think about that. And, We're going to be in Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. You know, he, he put his helmet on and he went back. That took a lot of faith right there. You know, he was faithful to, and that as he pulled these people back, each time he'd say, Lord, help me get one more. Help me get one more, Lord. And he even lowered the Japs, the ones that he was fighting against. But you know, he was faithful. He kept going back and back. He didn't quit. No matter how hard it got. Well, he done that all night long. Well, he lowered one guy down, and then the smoke had cleared. It become daylight, and he said, "Oh no, I've lost my cover." You know, and I, I begin to think about that. It got hard. Nobody would have ever said nothing to him if he would have just dropped on over the ridge and went went down. You know, he rescued what he could thought about myself, you know, I, I've gotten certain situations and I wasn't so faithful. You know, I, I wanted to run. And you know, it ain't really because it is easy, it does seem easier to run, but if you've ever run before, you know it's not easier to run because you've still got that right there. But you feel that you are not worthy to, you know, you've messed up, you've, I've went too far, you know, and that's one thing that makes you want to run. But you know, I, as I begin to think about that, he didn't run. You know, he stood right there, even though when the going got rough. And that's what I want to do. You know, God seen him through all of that.
no matter how hard it got, God seen him through it. Going on over to Hebrews. Chapter 11. Verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of him, of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. You know how many people thought Noah was was crazy for building an ark? Everybody thought he was crazy because if they didn't, they would have been on that ark. You know, the whole, through that whole movie of Hacksaw, everybody thought that he was, he was nothing. Every one of them, you know, and didn't want nothing to do with him and they, they treated him plum awful. But you know, in the end result, Look at the lives that that man changed. And this movie is based on a true story. You know, at the after he'd done come off the ridge, his captain come to him and he said, uh, he said, you know, most of these men don't believe the way you believe. He said, but they believe so much now that they will not go back up on this ridge without you. So now you look at the hearts that he touched by being faithful. You know, doing as God said. You can be faithful in many things. But look at look at the hearts that he touched. Even at the end of the movie, the his I don't know if it was his captain or whatever it was, but he told him, he said, You won't stand by my side. Because he wouldn't pack a gun. You know, in, in man's eyes, it'd be impossible to walk through the army without a gun. You know, go through war without a gun. But he went through war without a gun. And his captain told me, he said, you'll never stand by my side without a gun. And after the movie was over, you know, it shows them talking. And he said, you know, that was the, he said, I was wrong. He said he was the best one to have by his side. Because he didn't leave him. No matter what situation you get in, God won't leave you. No matter how hard it feels. No matter the situation. But you know, I I just thought about, you know, the what he went through his whole life. You know, he, even at home, his daddy treated him awful. Told him he'd never be nothing. And then when he went there, and then everybody treated him awful. But he touched every one of them hearts that treated him awful. You know, I, I, I began to think about, you know, what did Jesus say when they crucified him on the cross? He said, not lay that sin upon them because they know not what they do. He forgave them right then and there. He didn't hold on to that grudge. Unlike me, you know, if you do something to me, then I'm I'm, I'm, I'm hurt, you know, I'm, I'm mad or whatever. But I've got to be like that. I've got to forgive. But no matter how small your situation is or how big, you don't know. And just like in that circumstance, I'm sure he didn't know that he was going to touch ever, everybody in that, you know, army. But he did. But 
that part where he said, you know, they, they don't believe the way you believe. But at the end they did because they believed it or they would have went back up there without him. But that's how important faithfulness is. To be faithful. You know, not to just give up on the first sight that you see that's the opportunity to give up because he had his opportunity to give up. But look what a reward because he didn't. I mean, just like I was Noah, what what would have happened if Noah would have said, God, this, I, I can't do this. There ain't, ain't no flood going to come. But he didn't. He just built it and went on with it. Because he knew to trust God. God wasn't going to leave him. You know, wasn't going to have him build it for nothing. And that's just like with that. You know, that boy in the army there, he, he wasn't there for no reason. And if you haven't watched it, I, I advise you to watch it, you know, just not with your kids. <laughs> Cause, but the point I'm trying to get over today is just to, just to be faithful in us. You know, be faithful in everything you can you do, and do it with all your might. You know, and, and, and to put on your helmet of salvation. But that, that's what I've had on my heart today. And it's just, just to remember to try to be, you know, to be faithful in everything you can, you can be faithful in. If we all find this place to pray, we'll.